Hello everybody and welcome to this mod review of the 50 foot gooseneck transport trailer by 82 square studio. Oh yeah, this is um, this is so special. I had to do a separate mod review on it. Uh, this is a very nice versatile trailer. And we also had this one in uh, FS19. Uh, then it was called the versatile transport trailer and uh, now it's called the 50 foot gooseneck transport trailer and yeah i've tested it out a little bit with different configurations uh, the megabyte download size is 25 megabyte 24.5 megabyte to download and you can also have yeah underneath her you can have seeds and liquid fertilizer or herbicide up to 46,000 liter I know oh yeah of course tension belts lots of bits and bobs uh, I've had a couple of issues with it um, <laughs> we'll come back to that uh, there are a ton of different options and color options and yeah it's uh, it's a great one don't get me wrong it could be also that, you know, it's Yelsa Pharma doing testing here, that I'm doing something wrong. But, yeah. Anyhow, where, where do you find it? You find it under low loaders. And I'm pretty sure these two also are by 82 Square Studio. At least one of these. But anyway, this is the one we're looking at today. It's only 8,000 to buy. Uh, and as I said, uh, 11 slots. So you can have it as a standard nurse trailer, which puts these, uh, you know, crates underneath. And you can see on this one, it takes 4,600 liter. And then you have nurse trailer unreal, 46,000 liter. <laughs> and then we move over to the big boy, which is the bales autoload. Uh, now this come just in one length. You cannot change the length on this one. Uh, it will take 30 bales. And more or less all bale sizes, square and round bales. Uh, but I'm going to keep it on this for now. Uh, wheel brands, we got lizard. Uh, yeah, two or threes or separated back and front. Uh, wheel setup, we have standard, standard 2, Nokians, wide tires. These are pretty nasty. Well, I'm, I, I mean in a good way. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it on this one. And then on the tail end here, if you keep it as um, ordinary flatbed like this, you also have a trailer hitch, a ball hitch on the back. But you can also have it with some ramps or with a dovetail where you have the ramps underneath and it adds a little bit on the length and the back section there even though it doesn't seem like it has tension belts it i think it has at least for mine testing which is a good thing uh mud guards you have back or both back and front floor panel style you have five different styles you got with the um, floor uh wood Design 2 is more like uh, steel, aluminium, and then another steel, aluminium. Yeah, so 2 to 5 are... Oh, this is a shiny one. Let's take that one. <laughs> Attach type, gooseneck or bumper pull. And then we move over to the extra things. So here we have, can have it as a standard or with side rails. Or you can have it with log poles. And now, since we're not into bale autoload, we can also change the length. So you can have a really long uh, log trailer if you want. Or the last one, the extension. That's really cool. So I'm just going to keep it as standard. And then we come on into the length. And uh, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> 50 foot wow that's a long one <laughs> that's a long john shiny um let's keep it on 20 and then main color yeah you can go crazy there are so many 
we have all the you know all the TLX colors. I call it just TLX colors, but also all the standard in-game uh, colors if you want. <laughs> That's Mr. Silly P Green, isn't it? Uh, the sign color changes the toolbox, so to speak, on the front. That one there. Uh, rim color also here a lot of nice polished chrome chrome yeah it's it's 82 square studio you get all the colors you want and then uh, license plate um yeah let's just just lease that one <laughs> um so first one uh, we can start with this one uh, this is um a log trailer and also what's really nice is that I have leased more or less all of these now, and you don't usually lease that many, which I have. But here you can actually see which kind, you know, they are not the same. You can see even how long they are. You can see this one here is a 50 foot for bale. This is an, with nurse, and this is for bales. This is an ordinary with gooseneck. So you can see exactly which one, you know, if you want to deliver one back or if you want to sell one. That's pretty neat, I think. Yeah. Um, so here I got a TLX 3500. Now this seems to be a little bit high. Uh, you can see it's, um, yeah. <laughs> but it's connecting, so uh, no trouble there um, let's put on the help window we need this on that one so L1 and X Boop. there we go you even get the, an extra one on the front there so that's good and tension belts of course lights that's another thing lights uh, if you turn on all the lights you also get these um, I don't want to call them chicken lights, but you see those two on the top of the bar there. Now, I thought that those were adjustable. Because here is a couple of options which I don't get to work. Uh, but you can, uh, when you have the gooseneck, you can do L R1 and right stick to the side to adjust the height like so. Uh, but then we have L1 and R stick up and down. I thought that maybe was the legs underneath, but L1 and R stick up and down doesn't do anything. Uh, L1 and R stick to the side doesn't do anything. And it doesn't do anything on the car either. So I'm, and I thought that was the lights. You know, I thought those two chicken lights there that you could rotate these. But yeah, and also these two lights here, uh, I can't get them to work if I connect this one to a tractor. Only if I connect it to any TLX equipment. Um, and you can of course, if you have uh, this uh, with nothing on the back, you get the ball hitch. It actually fits better with a TLX 2020. Uh, this is more suited for it, I think. There we go. Also here, all lights come on. This is an ordinary one, a flatbed. Uh, but if you connect to another one, let's see if I can get this right now. It gets a little bit low. And on the back here, I have uh, the one with ramps. So let's take down the ramps. Whoop. Like so, and you can see it's not exactly touching the floor. Oh, camera collision. And with this one, um, I have tension belts to tension down my John Deere. And I also got the extension. Let's pull up this one. Let's go. Let's put the tension belts on. Thank God we have tension belts. Uh, because on the next one... Yeah, I experienced the same as I did on FS19. I'm not uh, marking it, but I'm just saying it. 
Uh, so here I got what this uh, 40 foot, I think it is, uh, with the unrealistic um, seed and fertilizer uh, nurse <laughs> baskets underneath. And this one here, this is connected to a class tractor. But this one, I cannot get the lights to work. I'm turning on everything here, but nothing. And here I also thought that race front load arm, you could race it up and down. Um, but yeah, I'm getting nothing. Uh, but you can of course boop, open up this one. This is nice. And this one, as long as you have a big tractor, uh, when I mean big, uh, the trailer hitch is high. I tried it first with this guy here. This has a pretty low ball hitch. And then this ramp here was whoop, way up into the air. So you need like a medium tractor to yeah to get the ramps all the way down. Uh, let's see. Let's see my issue with this one. I like this. Why do I only have one strap? Oh, maybe a... There we go. Straps on, off. So, straps off. Let's get this tree harvester on board. Now, here's the thing. And let's see. Now, I'm more or less in the middle. I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna shut off this one. Uh, but look what happens. So yeah, you better put on those tension belts. Because this is creeping a lot. I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the tree uh, harvester. But this is the exact same. Uh, but now in FS22, we have those excellent cargo straps. Which, whoop, there we go. So now it should be in place. Um, so yeah, but... <laughs> I'm not trying to break it, but uh, I'm just saying... Uh, take the tension belts on. Maybe just one, and you should be go good to go. Um, what else? Yeah, this one here. This is the, um, this is the weird one, which I've uh, taken out from the shop. And with this one, I have tried to combine an autoload trailer for bales with log piles. Um, but that doesn't work. <laughs> so, a warning there. If you if you configure it as a bale autoload like I have here and put log poles on it. If I jump in here now, fire up this bad boy. Uh, I have help window on. Uh, I'm only getting operating position. I'm not getting the option to raise those log piles. So yeah, you cannot combine it too much. Then it's... Um, uh, and also here, it's connected to uh, 82 Square Studio. And then you get those lights on. <laughs> Here's my second... Well... Here's my other issue, and that's with these bales. First of all, let's go into operating position. Bam! It's going to load on 30 bales. This isn't too bad of an issue. You can always L1 and get them on track here. But here's the thing. If I go now L1 and square for transporting position. Bam! You know, now they should be somehow... Not locked, but they are. They should be stable. I haven't pushed the unload bales yet. But here's the thing: if I press L1 now and right stick, I can move this even before I've pressed the unload bales. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's a little bit. So now I can go here and then unload bales and still move them like so. Uh, there's no option of getting them down to the ground, but oh, there we go. Those camera collision. Boop. There we go. I don't. 
somebody said to me uh, a while ago that this issue here when you load an outdoor trailer could be a mod conflict with another mod um, and what I also see is that <laughs> You know, now they are not exactly weighing down on the trailer, but you can still attach the um, tension belts, which you shouldn't do. I've I've had some flying trailers in the co last couple of hours, so now you know they are floating, but uh, I can still take on tension belts. Ooh, now it's working fine. Oh no, 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 no! It doesn't like this. Uh, take. Yeah, when I took the tension belts on earlier, the whole trailer. You know, now also I cannot drive. There's something wrong here. <laughs> so what, if you want to use the tension belts, uh, you should unload bales here onto the trailer. Bam, and then do it more realistic, like so. But if I go in here now, into reset and operating position. You can still have tension belts, but then it's... Yeah, there's something ish, iffy going on here. But it didn't start to fly now. Hmm. Let's check with the round bales. So I got the same here. Um, on this one, I got the uh, with the normal uh, not the gooseneck but a bumper pull and I tried to combine an auto load trailer with those um, you know those side rails uh, but that doesn't work either so it's only uh, auto load and not side rails I'm not getting the option of getting those out I have a go a nice touch though is that uh, you see those two uh, bales on the back they are like two uh, you know book stoppers in a library so when you unload the bales it's like stopping them to you know to roll uh, away let's see if we can get there we go we are in operating position let's take the tension belts on yeah, also here, it's really heavy, I cannot move at all. Oh yeah, there we go, so now you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, so don't don't take the tension belts on uh, when the bales are in operating position. Then you get uh, a dancing boy like this. <laughs> Uh, what, what else? What else? Oh yeah, um, over here I got the 3500. I got uh, configure this one as a normal flatbed with those side uh, extra wide side tracks, tracks, and with the unrealistic um, seed and fertilizer option. Uh, now I couldn't fill it up from uh, multi fruit buy station like this uh, you can do L1 and si left on the side panel to open up those side gates as you see here boop, boop. Uh, but I, I didn't get the start filling option from this one so what I have done oh look at that dancing boy <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get this guy to uh, dance uh, attention belts off no. Alright. Um, so what I have done, I bought myself uh, some pallets and big bags with seeds. So now let's see if we get the option. Oh, this is silver. Uh, you know what? I should disconnect this one. Because suddenly it starts to fill up in the TLX actually. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, let's take this guy. Now hopefully this will work. Let's see here. 
Um, do, do, yeah, there we go. Refill trailer. Ah, there we go. So we are filling up. Do, do, do. Okay, let's um, let's try to go. You know what? Let me just uh, move this one out of the way. <laughs> this is the one we least. So we filled seed now on the right side. Uh, I'm just gonna check if you can also refill fertilizer from the same side. Oh yeah, there we go. So now I'm filling from the right side with liquid fertilizer. And I can also go and fill seeds. Yeah. So this will hold, what is it? I guess it's like 50-50. Uh, like 23,000 with seeds and 23,000 with liquid fertilizer or um, herbicide. But yeah, it's it's a versatile trailer, that's for sure. I'm I'm gonna keep it, that's for sure. And I'm gonna rate it five or maybe four. The reason maybe with the four is yeah, no, that's not the four. Uh, lights on this one, no. So it's only. That extra light option is only valid on TLX equipment, I guess. Oh, I should get the cedar and see if we can fill from this. So, I leased myself uh, a planter. This is the only one I found that took both seeds and liquid fertilizer. So, we are out on the field and... Ooh, oh, oh. And I want to fill up my planter. Oh, yeah, there we go. Lids are off. All right, so we're getting uh, um, seeds filled up from this side. Okay, let's see. Can we... Do I need to open close cover? Uh, open cover. Where's the fertilizer then? Uh, that's probably on the other side. Uh, open next cover option um, close cover that's only for that one uh, yeah, da, 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 da. come on buddy I do have liquid fertilizer in this now <laughs> uh, yes I got 1600 liter can I overload can I overload to the planter um, I'm on the trailer. Let's get these guys in. Oh, maybe I need to open them. No, no, the lids are open. Hmm. Maybe this planter is a little bit difficult to fill, but I should be more or less straight underneath that uh, tag there. I guess it's the, those uh, black. I guess it's these black tanks here, which contains the liquid fertilizer. But yeah, all right. Maybe I'm missing something here, but yeah, I'm not able to to fill it maybe it's one of those things that you need to be unfolded I 
I know, I know, this is dragging out a little bit, but yeah, I just want... Oh, th no! I saw something changed in the menu. No, it's only the sea tanks which are getting opened. And I cannot change... Uh, I'm pressing L3, nothing. I'm opening cover, nothing. All right, all right, but yeah, uh, so that's uh, up for discussion, how to offload the <laughs> liquid fertilizer. But anyway, um, I think that's going to be it um, for my first view, at least, of the 50-foot <laughs> gooseneck transport trailer <laughs> by 82 Square Studio. Um, I like it. I hope you also like it. If you do, uh, go ahead and download it and rate it 5 stars. I'm going to do that. If you like this video, hit that like button and all those bells and whistles. And I'll see you the next time. <laughs> bye bye. Oh man, this guy needs a break. Let's uh, put on the button. Oh, there we go. Ooh.